So you gotta know both. We might as well do, let's do an example both ways. Synthetic and long. Oh yeah. So if I had this here, Make it sure. All right. So if I had to do this long division, what do I need to check before I go to set things up? Is there an issue here I need to address or no? It's not missing anybody, right? X squared X. It's got all. It's got two, one, none. It's not missing anybody. So if it was like X cubed and then X. Uh, yeah. If this was cubed and then X and then X. Then I have to put a zero for the x squared term. I like it. Because we do that with our number system, don't we? I have a thousand and seventy and two. I better put that I have no hundreds or else it means something very different. So the same thing has to happen here. Why? Because they're numbers. Um, so I had to set this up the way it's given to me. So how does this start? Six x. Yeah, x times what is six x squared? Six x. Six x times x, six x squared. That's very repetitive, right? It's like, well, yeah, it's got to be because that's why I put a six x there. So if you don't get the same thing here that's there, you made the first step wrong. It's got to be the same. Six x times negative two. Minus 10. Minus Sorry, who? 12. 12. So minus 12x. And then I change the signs. These go away. Negative 5 plus 12? 7. 7. Plus 2. x times what is 7x? Seven. 7 times x is 7x. That's amazing, Jeff. 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. Then I change the signs. Six x times x is six x squared. Six x times negative two is negative twelve x. Okay. Then, then I have, change the signs. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, how would this look? Write down what it would look like synthetic division. How would you rewrite this to do synthetic division? Hmm? Yes, please do. Or you don't have to. You can sit and stare at a wall. I'd rather you. Play along. I recently started telling people that when I ask you to do something, you could just draw a duck. I wouldn't know. And I want somebody to come up with this notebook full of ducks and say, the whole semester here, man. Especially if they're passing. If they're failing, I'm like, well, shit, maybe less time on the ducks. Um, so, what's it look like? Penalty box has a two. I like to change the sign right off the bat. And then six, negative five, and two. Six comes down. Two times six is 12. Negative five plus 12 is seven. Two times seven is 14. 14 plus two is, right? And of course, I'm trying to point out process that was created catches the most important parts. This is not important. Why? Because it's always going to be the same. So why would I want a process that writes that same thing down over and over? Ah! So that process focuses on what's really important, where these numbers are coming from. So how do you interpret the answer? This was squared, so the answer has to start off with x to the first. It's always one degree less because I'm losing a degree when I divide. And we already know what the answer is going to be. Jeff, you can do it, buddy. There you go, man. Come on. 
So I will give you problems. Um, I will give you problems where you are missing something, right? So you want to take a look at one. Let's do one like that, and then we'll open it up to whatever else we want to look at. Um, Let me just do <clears throat> number J because I don't know what where I do. I cannot do it right. What do you? Why? What do you mean? J. J. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you're and I, why do you yeah, think I you're tried, getting it I wrong? I tried both ways, but just got a different result. Oh. Oh. Because. All right. Do you see that first thing when you put in x? x times x is x squared. x times negative 2. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. Right. So let's try one that's got something missing. Yeah. I don't know if that's really in a great place. Are you doing all right? All right, you're doing okay. Poor little thing. Stop messing with him. All right, we'll see. Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys know. I think I post was it a video for this class that was blurry as hell. Yes. Sorry. Oh, no. oh well. <laughs> at least you got audio. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So if you don't even look at the videos, then one was blurry, so it doesn't really affect you. Mm. Fine. Um. All right. Terrible at Huh? Two out of ten. <laughs> yeah. Wait, let me see. I don't know. This is going to come out gross no matter what. It's too bad. <coughs> you like it. That looks great. Are we doing wrong? Or? Yes. Yes. Long and synthetic. That's a different more than the one you Oh, sure. Of course you do. I don't blame you. You should like synthetic more than the one you do. So how do I set this up? Okay, put the zero in there because it got no x squares. Just like having a zero, that means no hundreds in a, in a number, right? And then and then it works the same. X times what is five x cubed? So five x cubed is twenty x squared. Then I change the size. This is gonna be this is gonna be awesome. X times what is negative 20 X squared? Negative 20 X. Negative 20 X times X is negative 20 X squared, like we just said. Negative 20 X times 4. Yeah, dude. All right. I love it. Change the size. Negative 4 plus 80. Positive 76. Negative 7. X times what is 76 X? Yes. So for like the second to last area for the 20x uh, squared, how, how did you get a? How did you get the, all of those pretty much? All right. So right here, uh -huh. x times what is negative 20x squared? X times what is negative 20x squared? Negative? Negative 20x. 20x. Not 20x. You guys see it? I've already got an x. What do I need to make a negative 20x squared? A negative 20 and another x. Yeah. It's a great way to look at it because that's exactly why it works that way. So negative 20x times x is like we just said, negative 20x squared. Negative 20x times 4. Negative 80. 80. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you change the signs. So you are doing the exact same thing over and over and over again. So either you hate it because it makes no sense, or you hate it because it's boring as shit, right? Because it's like, I do the same thing. Change the signs. But that's a good place to get to. When you're like, okay, this is boring. It's a great place to be because then you understand the process. All right? 
and then you like synthetic better, but you can't always use synthetic, too bad. Uh, then these go away, that's 76. X times 76 is 76 X. Oops, I lost my minus seven. 76 X, and what's 76 times four? Three oh four, right? Okay. And then I change the size. Negative three eleven minus three eleven over <laughs> x plus four. Sure. So, so question. So, to get those, do you x times twenty x negative twenty x? Yeah, x times negative twenty x is negative twenty x squared. Right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, touch, yes. Negative 7 plus 3 or 4, right? Well, we changed the sign. Negative 3 or 4, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you might be able to. I can't write too well in the first place, and then I'll write smaller. Oh, well. There are seats up here. All right. Is that all right? So that's the one thing, before you set it up, just say to yourself, am I missing a power? So if it starts with a fifth power, you better have a five, four, three, two, one, none. Or if you're missing any of them, you gotta put a zero there. Okay, so in the, in the homework, I think there were a few like x cubed plus eight. So you're missing the x squared and the x, you need two zeros. Yeah, buddy. Okay. What's that? Synthetic. Oh, you want, all right, so if you do synthetic on this, well, what's it look like? What goes in the penalty box? Yeah, negative four. Remember, that's all related to, instead of changing the damn sign every damn time, let's change it once, right at the beginning. That's really what that is. Another way to look at it is, what makes the zero? Negative four. So that's another way to kind of get the number. And then what do I put here? Five, yeah. zero, good. Negative four, negative, four. negative seven. And then this, he gets me started. Negative four times five is negative 20. Add, multiply, add, multiply, whoops. Add, is it negative? Yeah. And then, you know, those are all the same coefficients. I know I did that quickly, but. When you're adding and multiplying, that kicks ass. That's what's beautiful about synthetic is it takes a division problem and makes it into an adding and multiplying problem. Adding and multiplying much easier than subtracting and dividing. Yes? Yes. One, ah, so we got, yep. so I want you guys to realize that part of this problem is really old news. 55 over 15 reduced. I think I saw some people in the homework tell me that the next step they put a 40 here. What are they doing to get 40? Subtracting. subtracting. This don't say subtract, it says divide. So remember, powers will not act like numbers because they aren't numbers. They have their own rules because they're not numbers. There's not a seven in this whole damn thing. Right? I think at this point we all shouldn't understand what I mean by that. There's no seven in there. There's something that has a seven because there's seven C's, but there is no number seven. So 55 over 15, you reduce it like you always have. I can't suddenly change that math. The math is set. So what, how do I reduce 55 over 15? Divided by 5. You can get 15 to fit in there. You got to show me. 11. 11. 
three. Now, what's my suggestion? Suggestion? Oh boy. I might as well just go all the way with that. Yeah. Whatever this is. What's the suggestion? What's what did I suggest you do here? Mm. Everything of the negative power, do what that means. Flip it. You don't have to. You really don't. I'm not saying you must. You could do 5 minus negative 2, but do you see how you could make a mistake trying to do that in your head? I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm just saying I don't do it because I think I could make mistakes that way. Mm -hmm. Right? So I'm going to move these two A's up. Can we just do it this way? How many A's are up there? I'm bringing two more, so now I got... Holy shit. Right? The C's I could do pretty easy. How many C's are left where? Down. Four on the bottom. Three would cancel. Four are left alive on the bottom. What about the B's? They would, they would flip. They'll flip, so let's put them here. Those three go up. Those two go down. All right, let me stop for a second. You guys with me? You guys understand there's nothing wrong with doing part of the problem and leaving another part of it undone, as long as you keep going. There's nothing wrong with that. So I know there's one more step i got to take. You're cool, you're cool, you're cool, you're cool. How many B's do I got left? One at the top. Kick ass. And again, is everybody cool right here, for example? C, 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 over C, 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 C. It's like our email address. G. C, C, C. It's like that. How many C's cancel? You can see this. You don't have to write it. You should be able to kind of see this in your head. Three C, seven C's. One, two, three, cancel. There are four left on the bottom. Bam. Bam. What is 3 minus 7, negative 4? What would you do with C negative 4? You would flip it, and then that way would finally catch up with the way I'm trying to show you. So you don't have to introduce negative powers. You can kind of like work with it directly and never have to introduce them. You guys with me? I just, there are people that will do this, and that doesn't make any sense. It's one way or the other. Right? One way. Yes. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's wrong because it's either there's four left in the bottom done, or three minus seven is negative four on the top, which flips down. Then both ways agree. Like it has to in there. I like it. At least at this level. It's a chaos. Oh shit! No. So at this level, it's got to agree both ways. Is everybody cool with that? Yes. Can you do one I on the top of that? One I. Does that sound like you're making something up? I. So let's see. One I, what's the idea there? Well, I'm dividing by how many terms? <clears throat> one. One term on the bottom, right? No long division. None of that shit. I only have to do long or synthetic if I'm dividing by more than one term. If it's just one term, I could just attack it directly. Break it up. Sort of like, let me show you an easier example. What's 8x plus 4 divided by 2? 4x plus 2. 4x plus 2. All right. How do you divide something by 2? you got to divide the whole thing by 2. So what's being divided by 2? That is, and that is, right? So when I have more shit to consider, I kind of write down for my, so I could have written this, I don't really need to. I didn't really need to write that because there's not a lot to keep track of. But in this problem, one I, there's a lot to keep track of. So first thing I would do is rewrite it. What's being divided by 6cd squared? 24c squared d cubed oh, is being divided by 6cd squared minus 12, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. Right, you write, you break each one up, you guys with me? And then they each become their own little problem. It's sort of related to, did I ever show you this? How do I make this into a mixed number? One way to do it is to say 17 is 9 plus 8. 
Yes? Nine over nine plus eight over nine is one and eight ninths. That's, that's another way to do that shit, right? Break it up into a part that I can divide and a part that I can't, so I get a whole number and then the leftover fraction shit. It's the same process we're using here with letters. I have a quick cool question. What's the difference between I, one I and one J? Ah, how many terms on the bottom of one J? Two. So I've got to use long division or synthetic. On the test, I'll actually say use long on this, use synthetic on this. Right. I think on one J I said use both plates. Ha, ha, ha. So the bottom is multiple terms and you have Yes, then you must. I really want this to make sense. Because, is it very cool with this? I mean, I didn't really write it all out, but now you just reduce this the way we did the other problem. This one's easier, though, because there's no negative powers. Um, oh, shit. I forgot what I was going to do. It's gonna be so. It's gonna be so cool. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, wait. Here it is. Um, so if I have like this, right, and I try to do the same thing I'm saying to do here. Watch what happens. I get x squared divided by x minus two. Right. Plus. Can I do anything with this? No. no. There's a minus. I can't reduce the x's or anything. I can't do shit with it. That's why I have to do long division or synthetic division. All right, uh, K is the same thing. What can you not use on one K? Yeah, if you're not sure, then it must be the, the way you like better. So you can't use synthetic on one K, Y. Because it has squared. X squared plus three, damn. It's gotta be linear with slope of one. Oh shit, you guys understand what I just said? Uh, so we've been, every problem we've done is like x minus 2 in the bottom or x plus 4 in the bottom. Linear, so first power, coefficient of 1, so slope 1. If it's not anything like, if it's not one of those things, like this one's got a squared, no. Nope. If I had a 5 there, no. Nope. Officially, all right. Okay, so that's why synthetic is so easy, because we made it only work on very specific kind of props. So I can really make it quick. Uh, so on this one, I just have to suck it up and do long division. Did I do that problem? Yes, I did. I did it right, too. No way. Um, what do I put on the inside on that problem? 1K. Okay. Okay. Five, Five, Five X cubed. Five X cubed? Good. No X squares. Minus 12 X, right? Plus 12x? Plus 12x. Yeah, okay. Chip it. Chip it. All right. And then you just tack it like normal. I mean, don't even, now watch. You could say that this is different. No, it isn't. It's not different at all. In no way. In no way is this different. x squared times what is 5x cubed? 5x. 5x. 5x, 5x times x squared is 5x cubed. That's the redundant part, right? That's what we just said. And then 5x times 3 is? 15x. Where does it go? 15x, probably with the x's. There we go. Same as always. It's just when there isn't missing something, I don't have an example there. I, I just go to the next one. But I'm still always lining up like terms. You probably need zero x. What about? It doesn't do anything. Yeah, it doesn't do anything in this problem. In this problem, it doesn't do anything. Right? Doesn't mean it won't ever. So for example, uh, I, I thought for sure we did. We might not have done a problem where it actually does something. Let's do a problem where it actually does something. I've got that on the answer key, who cares? Um, so what if I had this? So what if you had, all right, come on. All right, all right. Like I said, use long division on this. So x plus five, what goes in here? Right? I'm going to do the first few steps a little quick. 
x times 6x cubed is 6x4. 6x cubed times that is 30x cubed. Change the signs. Ah, okay. So if you put it there and you ended up not needing it, okay. You put it there just in case you need it. That reminds me of that Bond commercial. Better to know me. What? Bail bonds? No. <laughs> don't worry. It's better if you don't know what it is. You've led a good life. Or you haven't been caught or whatever the joke is. Um, so it's necessary. Sometimes I'll put it and I end up not using it. Like I said, okay, it's better just to be in the habit because if you don't put it sometimes, she's like, I don't need it. And when you need it, you're going to be screwed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes? Keep going. <laughs> you tell me, what's the next thing? So I changed the signs here, right? These cancel? Good. Good. X times what is negative 30 x cubed? Good. Negative 30 x squared times that is negative 30 x cubed. Negative 30 times 5 is negative 150 x squared. Change the signs. Bring down to 5. The numbers are getting a little big. So what? You'll be able to use a calculator. What to do? All right. X times what is 150 x squared? 150 x. 150 x. 150x squared uh, plus, what is that, 750? 750. It's okay. And then change the signs. I mean, right? You see how the numbers are changing and all that, but I'm doing the same thing over and over and over. Yes? For the, for you, for the like, for you to get that uh, hundred, the hundred, 150x, it would, you, you just go down one with the x to get get the 50x squared? What's happening? So this was negative 30x cubed, which is why I put this here, right? X times this is this. Yeah. So that times that is this. What's 30 times 5? Uh, 150. Yeah, one. X squared. And that's where it came from. What? No. And then you said X times what? It would be... No, no. And then I combine these. And then X times what is 150x squared. 150x. Yeah, I was asking about that part. You, since that, since the other one's uh, 150x, you go down one to get. Okay. So. Because x times. Notice here, this was 5x cubed. What is it missing? What, what is a x squared missing to become 5x cubed? It's missing a 5 and 1x. So yeah, I went down by two because I've already got two x's. So here, you go down by one because I've already got one x, right? So how do I make 150x squared? I multiply by 150x because I only need one more x. All right, so I can see what you're saying. Just be careful about making that a generalization. It really is just, what do I multiply this by to make whatever I'm looking at down here? And whatever the power is, you've already got an x, or whatever it is. Over there, I added x squared. So you just need that much less. So in this would be the situation of for, for that to fit in the equation. That's a way you could look at it. Yeah. That's what you're asking. Yeah. Yes? Um, in this equation here, you had to put like terms together. On that equation to the left, why didn't you put the term? Because there are no... Right. What do you mean? This is 30x cubed. Right. So where, which one of these is like terms with 30x cubed? The term that has x cubed in it, of course. What makes things like terms? Same letter, same amount of the letters. So that has x three times. That has x three times. They line up. Okay. Got it. Oh, uh, so where did we leave off? So then I change the signs. Die. So again, yeah, this does, and that's was her point was it doesn't do anything to the problem, but you didn't know ahead of time. So it's fine to do something just to be careful, and you find out you don't need it. 
in your car, put your seatbelt on, you didn't get in a crash. I'm never gonna use a seatbelt again. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> Right. Oh yeah, you don't. No, no, no. Yeah, you don't need a. You don't need to bring this down and do a zero here because then it wouldn't even add anything to the answer. Right. In that case, you're right. You, I mean, it, yeah, that doesn't contribute anything to the problem. Mm -hmm. But it didn't know that going in. Okay. I put it there just in case something would go with it. Well, I try many times to do it, but don't don't know that doesn't work. Okay. It's okay. Good. So I you know, open. This side. So what? Uh, um, I like, open it and I did it with one step, just one step. Watch this. Uh, what you got, Joe? I don't know, man. All right. How would you do this? Six thirty minus equals zero. Would zero. you sit here and put? I mean, now what do you do here? Don't you put a zero here? Uh -huh. I like it. Right. So up here it would be like plus zero. And then my, and then plus this over that, so this plus zero would do nothing. I wouldn't. I don't need it to show up. Yeah. You said show what? So maybe you didn't like it, and you said that zero. part. I would never fault you for not doing that because that obviously does nothing to my problem. I like it. Is that the answer? Oh, sorry. So then, what's the answer? So how do I deal with this guy? How do I know I'm done dividing? This degree is less than that one. Okay. So now I could just put plus negative three X minus seven over X squared plus three. Just like that. Just like we do with numbers, right? You have right. to put the plus or can you just put minus? All right. Oh, so you gotta be careful. Now watch this. If I, so here's the answer. The way I've written it is like this. And it's funny you say that because I do kind of cringe a little bit at this. But you're wrong if you do this. Those aren't the same thing. That's right. Because if you take the negative and you put it down here, you better take a negative out. Because here the negative would want to distribute back up again to make it become that. So why do that? You can if you want to. And personally, I would write this because it's a little cleaner, but nothing's wrong with this. You need to do parentheses here? No, you don't because you've got a big ass division bar. The big ass division bar, I don't need to write the parentheses, they're understood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, maybe, maybe. So, watch this real quick. Um, I want to make a point on what I just said. This is going to be in our future, but we can handle this right